Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a chunky crochet chair pad. To make my chunky crochet chair pads, I used some really thick yarn. This is from Top Knot Style. I'll leave a link in the description box below and a nice fat crochet hook. First, create your basic crochet loop just like this. I'm going to leave the directions in the description box below, all of the written directions, so make sure to check that out if you get lost or if you need some more thorough instructions. Then you're going to chain six. And after you chain six, you're going to slip stitch into that first chain just like this. Now you're going to chain two more. This is going to act as a double crochet, so one and two. And then you're going to double crochet into the back stitch of the first chain in the loop below. So I wrap the yarn around my hook. I push the tip through just the back part of the stitch of the chain below, then I'm grabbing some yarn, pulling it through two loops, and then two loops again. If you're a beginning crocheter, I will also leave some guidance in the description box below, a link or two so that you can learn how to crochet. This is definitely a great beginner crochet project because this yarn and this needle are really big, it goes so fast, and it's a really easy pattern. Then you're going to double crochet into that exact same stitch. So you're double crocheting two times into the same stitch below. And you're going to do this all the way around this first loop. So double crochet two times into each of the back stitches of this first loop. Then you're going to chain two more again to create another double crochet and then you are double crocheting once more into the back stitch of the double crochet below. So I'm just putting my hook through the back stitch of the double crochet below and then I'm going to double crochet in exactly that same stitch. So for this second row we're doing exactly the same thing we are double crocheting two times into each of the stitches below.
So after this second row or this second round, you're going to only do two more. So there's four rounds total. So for the third round, it's very similar. You're going to chain two, and then you're going to double crochet into the next double crochet below. And then rather than double crocheting again into that same stitch, you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern. So two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into the next stitch. So two and then one and then two and then one. And then for the final row, row number four, instead of alternating two double crochets into one stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch, you're just going to double crochet in each stitch once. So double crochet into the stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and so on and so forth until you finish the final and fourth round of your chair pad. I am using a Q16 crochet hook and I'll leave all of the stats to the yarn that I'm using in the description box below so you can purchase this one. This one was given to me by Top Knot Style or you can find something very similar. Once you're finished your fourth and final row, just cut the yarn and then pull it through the loop and tighten to finish your work. Then just take a very large needle or just your fingers and weave in all the loose ends on your pad. And then you're going to take some gross grain ribbon. I tried this with the yarn, but it just wasn't strong enough. So I'm just using some gross grain ribbon in the same white color and just insert it into the stitches on the side of the chair pad. You can actually place the chair pad on your chair to make sure you're putting these in the right spot. And then just simply tie them around a spot in your chair that works for you. You might want to put some drawer liners or some carpet liners beneath these if they're too slippy and slidey. I've done that with these and they work really well. And your chunky crochet chair pads are now complete. These were part of my recent breakfast nook, my farmhouse colorful breakfast nook makeover. So make sure to check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again in my next video.